Just like that, the uh, calendar changes new seasons tonight. That summer solstice local time is 2.13 a.m. So in other words, when you get up Tuesday morning, it'll be, be summer. And then um, all of a sudden, the weather forecast looks like summer. So if you haven't heard, right now we expect a bone dry week, no chance of rain. Uh, I have the next chance of rain coming in potentially on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Now, if that holds true, we haven't had a seven-day run of dry weather since uh, the one that began February 6th. So it's been a long time. And then the second item that really catches your attention, you can see the seven day over my shoulder. Notice how Saturday, Sunday, the columns go up. Is it looks like we have a chance to hit 80 tomorrow, Tuesday, which will be perfect for the first day of summer, right? That's like mother nature knowing what's going on. It would only become the second time we have hit 80 so far this year. As you know, it's been cool and wet. And the information that came in last night and again this morning on all the main weather models uh, that I look at indicate that we get what we call a thermal trough, which would give us an east wind, sunshine, and start pulling up warm air from California and Nevada into our area uh, this upcoming weekend. So I've got us hitting 90 on Saturday. I've got 92 on Sunday, and it could even be warmer on Sunday. I wouldn't be surprised if we get into the mid-90s on Sunday. So just like that, a couple of hot days. Right now, current timing has Monday showing some cloudiness late in the day, a slight cool down into the 80s, and then the possibility of some showers uh, coming in on Tuesday and Wednesday. Right now, I show Wednesday of next week, actually, about 68 degrees with some rain showers. The, uh, not, while I have your attention, the National Weather Service, I don't agree with this. I could be wrong. They could be right. Who knows? The National Weather Service has uh, updated their projection for July to show our local region here up and down the Willamette Valley in Southwest Washington as being cooler than normal with an equal chance of getting some rain either above normal or below normal for the month of July. Now, forecast models have been really consistent on showing as we go into the heart of the summer, the months of July and August, that the heat that's been out to the east shifts a little bit more to the west and kind of anchors itself uh, over the Four Corners area and then extends northward up over the Colorado Rockies and into the Dakotas and, and Wyoming. So if that happens, we'll be right on the back side of the heat. And you would assume that there would be a, a handful of times that we would start to feed into that and have some, you know, heat at times in the months of July and August. But also, if we don't get in the, the main core of that, we would have plenty of time that would be closer to normal temperatures and really fairly comfortable for the summer months with the promise of at least some rain during July and August. So I feel like the summer setup is looking favorable for our area. And I do see a couple shots of some potential hot weather coming uh, around the, the, um, the mid part of July. So we'll see if all that if all that happens okay in the meantime happy summer we'll look for a beautiful sunny day on tuesday after some early morning valley clouds and i will talk to you soon